everyone welcome to Terra Spatial. In this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to download building footprints from Google website. So let us see how to do that. Open your browser and just type in open buildings and hit search. Now you can see here open buildings. So click on this link. I'll, I'll, be, I'll also be sharing this link in the description. You can just check it out. Now you can see here download so before that you can see uh, what this data is about open buildings a data sets of building footprints to support social good application so the building footprints are useful for uh, ranges of important applications for uh, population estimation urban planning humanitarian response to environmental and climatic science this large scale open source open data sets contains the outline of boundaries derived from high resolution satellite imagery in order to support this type of uses so basically this project is based on Ghana with an initial focus of African continent and uh, following new updates they are also uh, given it for South Asia Southeast Asia Latin America and Caribbean So you can see here this uh, data set contains around 1.8 uh, buildings, 1.8 billion buildings is being detected across 58 million square kilometers within Africa, South Asia, Southeast Asia, Latin America and Caribbean. So three versions are available. So version 1 is uh, covered only Africa, version 2. Uh, expanded to South and Southeast Asia and the current version detect detection uh, is for uh, Latin America and the Caribbean. So for each building in this data sets uh, it has been included the polygon description its footprint on the ground a confidence score indicating how sure we were that this building and uh, a plus code response to center of the building there is no information about the type of buildings its street address or any details other than its geometry so these are the things you should understand so the uses of data you can just see here population mapping humanitarian response for a flood drought or natural disaster environmental science for uh, gaining knowledge of uh, settlement density addressing system postal codes likewise social benefits economic opportunities uh, for vaccination planning statistical indicators so you can so you can also explore the map by clicking here you can just explore this map and if you click on each polygon you can see uh, some information is available lat long area confidence So likewise, so you can see here, this uh, building is been uh, put into a uh, three color category. So the confidence level. So nothing but the accuracy. So the confidence level uh, greater than or equal to 0 0.75. Uh, it has been indicated in uh, green color. And you can see here, the orange color which is uh, 0 0.7. So the orange color uh, which is uh, ranging from 0 0.7 to 0 0.75. So this is the conference. So that has been given in orange color. And you can see in between. Uh, so you can see the red color has been indicated for the polygons which is uh, having a conference uh, from uh, 0 0.7 to below 0 0.65. So let us see how to download this uh, data sets. So go to the top and you can see the option download. So basically this uh, data is being given in uh, uh, two file formats. You can select the data and have a look at it. Oh, sorry, it has been only given in a CSV file format. We need to convert it to polygon. So let us also see how to do that. So once again go back and you can see the option download over here select download and you can select the grids accordingly 
let me zoom in to a particular location so when you click on this tile you can see the file size so for this tile 1.1 GB size uh, building is available you can just likewise you can just click and select the region which you are interested in interested to download so I'm going to download for this region now click on this uh, click to download you have to click this link so the download will be automatically started so you can see here it has been started and it uh, won't last um, uh, it won't take time because Google is having good server so let us see after the download we'll be opening this file in QGIS and we'll be uh, converting the file from CSV to shapefile and we we'll just visualize it that is what we are going to do so this took almost uh, 5 minutes for me to download 1.1 GB so let us open it and see it in the folder so let me create a separate folder for it and let us extract the file here so we are almost done so we have downloaded the data in csv file format and let us see how to convert it to shape file in qgis so just go on to the option layers add layer so here we are going to select add a delimited layer text layer click so here click this button and browse the file so this is our uh, downloaded csv file click open so here in the geometry you can just see select geometry in uh, detect select polygon so let it the let the uh, projection be as it is don't change anything so you can see here there are around uh, a lot of records is available it's just a uh, loading and we have to be be patient in this uh, conversion process it takes time for me it almost took uh, 30 minutes for converting from csv to shape file so we need to spend another 15 minutes for uh, loading this uh, data into uh, shape file let us see now click the button add so from here on it takes time uh, it takes 15 to 20 minutes to load so we have to patiently wait in order to load the uh, Google uh, building footprint data so it took almost uh, 20 minutes for me to convert from CSV to shape file so now we directly export this as a shape file export save feature as click so now here you can just click on this button and browse where you want to save So I have just given the name and hit the button save. Now hit the button OK. So this is another process. It uh, takes time too. So it takes uh, another uh, 20 to 30 minutes. So this may vary be, uh, based on uh, system specification. So mine is uh, i5 processor that is uh, old generation. So it takes time for me. For you, it may be uh, taking a lesser time because uh, nowadays uh, SSD is being used, and uh, I think uh, it might be finished uh, much more quickly than uh, which took me around half an hour. It may be uh, half, 15 minutes or 20 minutes for you guys. So let me close this, and you can see the status bar over here. So one person has been completed, uh, and the estimated time is about. 650 yeah it almost uh, it will be taking around uh, 20 minutes or uh, yeah it is around uh, 30 minutes so let us wait
so it has been successfully completed so uh, let me remove the uh, csv file and let us zoom in and look how our data look Now let me add the base map as well. So now you can see the data has been loading. So let me open the attribute table. So the attribute has been uh, loaded. So if you click on the each uh, building, you can find the lat long, area in meter, and uh, the confidence. That is nothing but the accuracy. So please do keep in mind that this data is about uh, 1.1 GB. So it took took around 40-45 uh, minutes for me. If you are downloading for a larger uh, larger set, for example, 4 GB data, 3 GB data, it may take you much more time. So uh, that you that must be noted down. So let me close it. So let me clip it. So our input file will be building. So let me choose the uh, overlay layer. By, uh, by using this button so select uh, from file or browse for layer so I'm going to use browse for layer so you can see here I'm going to select this file so this is my boundary layer and this is the building file so if you want you can just uh, save it to a temporary file or you can select, to, uh, select this option and save it to a particular location or also you can save it as a geo package so let me save it as a temporary file and click the option run so let us see what so the clip has been successfully done so you can just have a look at the data so now it will be much more faster than the previous so if you have any doubts in this you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching Terra Special.